Hi, everybody. Steve Harvell with Creative Ventures, and I'm hosting this month's issue in the Over Coffee video series. I want to talk to you a little bit about a tug of war, a tug of war that's going on in your head between what you know now and what you need to know to advance your career. It's not about space. The brain has an almost unlimited capacity for producing new neural connections. It's instead about relevance. How relevant is a new idea to you? Is it relevant in building your career? Is it relevant in simply learning something new? What space should your brain allocate to a new idea, a new idea to build a skill set? This is Richard Feynman. Richard Feynman was one of the world's renowned theoretical physicists. He worked on the Manhattan Project in the development of the atomic bomb. Uh, he was a panel member uh, that examined the explosion of the space shuttle Challenger. Uh, he quoted nanotechnology. He developed pictorial representations of massive physics ideas. Uh, and along the way, in 1965, he also won the Nobel Prize in Physics. He was not just a physicist. He was an unbelievable philosopher, creative and humorous at the same time. Um, one of the things he spoke about extensively is how well you knew an idea. Did you just know the name of the idea, or did you know the idea well enough to explain it in your own terms, to be able to teach the idea? How much information did you need to know about that idea to make the idea worthy? It's a really good question. Let me give you an example of, what, of that. This is a red magician sponge ball. If I place it in the palm of my hand, I know some things about it. I know its size its shape, its color, and its weight, simply by examining it in my hand before me. That idea's got four pieces of it that I already know by that simple element. If I change the ball, and I use, let's say, a ping pong ball, and I place that in my hand, I know almost the same thing about it. I know its size, its shape, its color, its weight, and I can add one more element to it. By simply dropping it and watching it bounce, I know it has another characteristic. So I keep adding to what I know about it until I get a really firm understanding of what the idea of this ping pong ball is. That's the same way for new ideas for you. You have to put them in an order of impact to you. And it's hard to do because new ideas are bombarding you every day. It's the, what we've done for 37 years is simply create new ideas that fit strategies to help companies and individuals. It's not an easy task. But it's the only way you push from where you are to where you want to be. Very seldom does the arrow of time point forward for you in the exact field and space you are now. You have to add something to it, a new idea, a new skill set, a new way of doing something. And that has to have space in your head in order for it to become relevant to you. So here's a simple filter. Just ask yourself, how well do I know the idea? How valuable will that idea be to me? See if you can explain it in your own words. Maybe all you need for that idea is simply to know the basics of it in order for it to be impactful. You're never going to get to a growth field, to a growth direction without adding something new. Make sure it's worthy and relevant to you. And we'll see you next month on Over Coffee.